Uh, what are the opportunities for React Native going forward? What are <laughs> you excited about the most? Uh, Pavel, do you want to start? I? Okay. Uh, to probably surprise to no one, I'm most interested in the JSI. And I'm mostly interested in that part uh, since I'm maintaining the repack, which is heavily focusing on code splitting. So this is interesting for me because I might be able to implement the code splitting uh, in a synchronous way using, using the JSI. So that's, thing, that's a uh, part that I want to prototype and experiment with. So I'm mostly interested in that aspect. Cool. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can also add, add to that. Uh, with JSI, like something else is also going to be there. It's called Fabric, which is uh, synchronous updates of the UI. Uh, it's not it's not out yet. It will be in future, but I'm I'm really excited about Fabric because when we can do synchronous layout, it's gonna like enable a lot of things that we cannot do today. For example, we can measure the layout synchronously. Uh, so that I, I have had a lot of issues with uh, asynchronous layout measurements because if I want to render something based on the layout, I need to measure it and then show it. So there will be a blank space, for example, be because or a spinner or like loading indicator or something. And we don't have to do those things anymore if we, if we can render synchronously. So yeah, that's a big and that's ha that has been a big problem for me because. Uh, when dealing with responsive UI, you need to measure things a lot, and uh, this will solve us finally, uh, which I'm very excited about. Do you have, uh, guys, any other answer than new architecture, or should we move forward? Maybe just one thing. Uh, so the developer experience get is getting a better and better with React Native. So uh, upgrading from one version to another uh, is is like a lot of better than it was two or three years ago. So it's it's still evolving. So. Uh, yeah, so, so I believe that this one, I'm also excited to, 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 to see in next years. Yeah, it's, it's funny because I, I just had a thought in my brain that I'm going to say something that is not related to a React Native feature because I'm a CTO. <laughs> and then you said what I wanted to say, and then I figured we have another CTO on the panel, so you stole my answer. Uh, but um, one thing that I can add on top of it is also related to the developer experience, which is the general stability of the framework. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of involved in the regular React Native release process and last year uh, and two years ago and three years ago it was just me and then somebody else joined and there's just two of us releasing a framework that everybody in the world uses which sounds like it's, it's ridiculous but it worked and now there is like 10 or 15 people from Facebook and Microsoft they finally took ownership so um, I guess uh, something people were uh, complaining about being Facebook not taking care of the open source part of React Native is now being addressed. And I feel this is a good uh, signal to like companies all around the world that React Native is maturing. And that's what I feel will help React Native kind of accelerate even more together with those great technical features and yeah. VX improvements. I agree. Thanks. Thanks for answering.